50 Cent oh, has a show he's doing with ABC called For Life. And guess what? His butt is getting sued for $150 million by this guy right here. And you guys won't believe what this guy's name is. His name mm. is Aaron Lamont Johnson. <laughs> Get a load of this, ladies and gentlemen. He's suing 50 Cent for $150 million, claiming legal documents that 50 Cent and ABC benefited from the commercial use of his name, his life story, by imitating him. Johnson is serving out a life sentence in Alabama prison and claims that the show For Life is actually based upon his life. The main character for life is named Aaron Wallace. Hmm. According to the show's creators, the storyline is based upon the real life story of Isaac Wright. And I did verify Isaac Wright didn't have the same similar situation. A man who was falsely accused of being a drug lord proved his own innocence from prison and went to become an attorney. However, in Johnson's lawsuit, the Alabama inmate claims that there are numerous similarities between the Aaron Wallace character and himself. They include, according to Johnson, both have the same first name, which is that means nothing, ladies and gentlemen. Both were wrongfully convicted. That ain't going to mean nothing either. Both have legal degrees. We kind of cooking, but still ain't going nowhere. Both have successfully litigated prisoners, criminal cases. Both have Caucasian support advocates. Larry, Larry, Larry. Is this going anywhere? It might. It might. <laughs> and I'll I'll tell you, here here's the here's the kicker with this. I think that would be the I mean, they'll they'll fight it. And this is this is where it's gonna be fun with seeing how this turns out with ABC and uh and 50s production company. This dude's in jail. Yeah. This dude has nothing but time. No, if you're talking about people who are on the outside that they try and sue someone and you get these big these, these big dollar clients on the other side like ABC and 50 Cent and they have all the money in the world to throw lawyers at you and to bury you in paperwork this dude apparently has a law degree yeah and he's in jail he has nothing but time he can sit there and respond to every single motion that that ABC and 50 file he can sit there and, and and file most responses to every single motion and file new motions. He can bury them in paperwork right back. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, I mean, it's it's amazing. It's going to be amazing to see how this works out. I mean, I, honestly, if if they sit down and they say, look, we if they may just say, look, we, we, we know about your case. Yes, we pulled some of your stuff. We probably should have attributed your, you know, your likeness, you know, your whatever because we use some of your name and likeness and story we should have we should have given you you know uh some credit or something they'll they're, they're not going to get 150 million dollars but they might sue they i mean they might they might settle and and i mean even at 10 percent, that's still too much that you're talking about 15 million dollars i especially since the dude's in jail i wouldn't be at all surprised if he came out and said look i want i want 1.5 million for me and I want you to donate another five million to like prisoners' rights, you know, some prisoners' rights organization. Mm -hmm. And ABC can come out on top of that looking great because they'll make a, a donation to a charitable organization, which will just be a tax write-off for them, anyways. They'll get the 1.5 to dude and and you know, and he'll live his life. Well, the thing that I want to know is if his story is similar to the other guy, why is he still in jail? Yeah, maybe he did something else. Maybe he got off from the one thing and he did something else, which he, you know. Uh, but so. uh, but here's the thing. If he wins the lawsuit, um, they didn't highlight when his term is up, other than to say he's serving life. Mm -hmm. So how is he going to pass that money down to his family? Because Larry, I don't think that he's going to be able to do, I don't think he's going to be able to prove that the story is similar to his. I mean, unless there's a smoking gun, unless there's some documented evidence that 50 or some representatives from GUN or the ABC talk specifically to him, someone in his camp, someone in his family, I don't know how you prove it. Because the uh, the guy that they did, I the guy that they- the point. I think you're missing the point, Lamont, is that you don't have to prove it. 
What you uh -huh. have to do is get a judge to say, yes, this is a legitimate lawsuit. There's enough similarities here to let this move forward so we can give him the opportunity to prove it. And then what he needs to do from that point is bury the other side with so much paperwork that they then say, you know what? It's we'll going to cost you, us more to defend this lawsuit than it is to settle it. Let's just give him something and have him go away. Okay. And that's so, what I'm and I'm assuming that's what he's doing. That's what most people want to do in a civil suit right, anyways. Right. Unless you truly truly have been wronged. If you've done if somebody like some somebody had serious neglect and cut off your child's arm or something or poisoned you from bad toothpaste or something, then you might want to see real change occur and so you then want to see the lawsuit go all the way through and be fully adjudicated but other than that you know or litigated all the way through but my point being is is that if if you're just after money if it's just a money grab and the dude's in jail and he's a lawyer he's just gonna bury these he's just gonna throw motion after motion after motion at him and make it so expensive for abc and 50 cents that they'll eventually just say let's settle let's get this guy out of our head let's settle We'll give them, a, we'll give them whatever, some, some amount of money and we'll, we'll make the, you know, it'll make it such that he can never come back ever again and ask us for anything and they'll move on. You so know, you think, you think they might settle with him for like five, $10 million, something like that. No, I don't think it's going to be that much. If he was out, if he was not in jail, then yeah, I think he might get that much, but being in jail, I don't think he's going to get that much. I think well, he'll what, get. What difference does it make if he's in jail or out of jail? In terms of how much they're gonna pay him to shut him up? Oh, because I think if he goes, I think if he goes to if he goes to court, he's gonna have a hard time finding sympathy with the jury, and they'll probably tell him that. And, and it's just a matter. I mean, there may it may get so, to the point where ABC so then so then you're say, right hey, back, you're right back to my it, point. So, you're huh? right back to my point. Like I you 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 just circled the wagon right back to my point. Unless he's got a smoking gun, this is going nowhere. But they know. I mean, it could go somewhere where he simply says, "Like, I don't, I'm saying, I don't think they're going to give him ten or five or ten million dollars. I, I think that they may give him one and a half or two million dollars, and then that's it, and he'll be gone. They'll, they'll deal with him. They'll give him one or two million dollars, and he'll, you know, he'll sign his rights away. That'll be over. And I don't think he's getting nothing. I guess we'll see." But there are so many other people who have similar situations. What's to prevent them from just saying, oh, 50 stole my story? If there's no smoking gun, is what I'm saying. Well, that's why I start off saying that you have to have you have to have enough of a you have to have enough of a story, enough there has to be enough similarities where he can still where he can present to the court and say, hey. This is not a frivolous lawsuit. This is a legitimate lawsuit. And then you have to have a judge that says, looks at it and says, I agree with them. I agree with the plaintiff. This looks like this could be a legitimate suit. I'm going to let it move forward. And then if it moves forward, that's when then you start throwing, you know, the guy can just start throwing motion after motion after motion and, 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 and really, it really costs ABC and them a lot of money. And so that's when they start. If it looks like the if the loss is going to be allowed to go forward, that's when they're going to say, let's start settling because we don't want to deal with this guy and and have to have, you know, end up spending $40 million in legal fees and, you know, and then maybe end up losing. Or even if we win, we spend $40 million in legal fees when we could have given them a million and a half or $2 million and been done with it, you know. And even then, even if they go to court and they have to spend all this money on legal fees, even if they ask the judge, they ask the court for the legal for the for the plaintiff to pay his le their legal fees, they're never going to get that money. The dude's in jail. I mean, dude, people in jail work for like thirty five cents an hour. You so know? I guess I guess I can settle with you on they probably they probably give him some money to just go away. I'm thinking some some he's asking for one fifty. They might settle on five million. Something like that. I don't even think they'll give him that much. We'll see. I'll definitely follow this one.